Alright, how are y'all going tonight? Welcome to Life is Strange for Beyond Blue. Uh, I'm Aphian and tonight we're going to photography class. So it should be lots of fun. Uh, hopefully my mic is working this time. And for those people that might have missed it last time, I'm just going to show off a couple of pieces of merchandise that I have obtained over the years uh, relating to Life is Strange. Um, hopefully the camera will focus on these as well. Alright, cool, thanks. <laughs> um, piece of cake stop spamming oh, I'm not sure why it says that I'm wondering if someone said something symbols uh, yeah I might have to look into that later because here is oh, god damn this is a um, life is strange mug um, so yep it's got Chloe on it so, yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's also this. I used a Hello Waving Hand. Oh. That should be fine, though. I don't see why it would. Yeah, I'm gonna have. Maybe it's something to do with emoji. Um, I might have to check that out, actually. There's a coaster. Doesn't seem to focus very well. Might have to get a better webcam at some stage. Um, my friend uh, Gemma, Gemma Lee Griffiths, who's a very talented artist, did this. So, yep. Basically, says this action will have consequences, like everything in life. And of course, and there is this. The Chloe's bullet necklace. So that's very cool. And then of course is this thing, Blackwell Academy. This um, I don't know what you call it, a varsity jacket. Apparently, it's an American thing. Um. So yeah, I've managed to get this off, um, what is it, insert coin clothing. So um, yeah, this is pretty cool. It's got an inside pocket as well, so it's very comfy. So yeah, uh, without further delay, let's get to it. a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so <laughs> yeah, I can do some wandering. Oh. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. Justin always looks stoned. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. And I might just um, things. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. <laughs> K 
carrying a gun to class is cool though. No running, no yelling, no pushing, no graffiti. Yeah, I kind of wish that um, that our high school, the uniforms were really daggy and boring. I kind of wish we had the varsity jackets just because they kind of looked cool. And then it was only like the um, like maybe the last year that I was there, we were actually allowed to wear blazers, which uh, they the blazers looked kind of um, classy and everything. But only the prefects were allowed to wear them until the last year when they changed it, and then it was just like, ugh, is it worth it? <laughs> Maybe you owed money to Frank, too. Lunchroom. Don't throw food. Pick up after yourself and respect your... something. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Best singer ever in Oregon, looking for the best guitarist ever to form kick-ass band to take over the world. Influences the Ramones, the Shins, the Beatles, the Ramones, the White Stripes, the Ramones, the Smiths, the Who, the Ramones, the Style Council, the Ramones, and Lady Gaga. Do you think they're influenced by the Ramones at all? <laughs> I haven't actually listened to the Ramones. Anyone listen to the Ramones? Are they any good? Like new tablet for sale. Contains 5 gigs worth of cat pics. Wow. The Ramones. I have heard of them. I just haven't listened to any of their music. Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking cool. pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get it. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Yeah, so maybe I should check out the Ramones. Blackwell sure takes its swimming seriously. But otters are cute. Go otters. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Desperate much? We're already here. The world is yours today. Black Hole Academy is not just a hybrid college. Our unique world-renowned faculty wants to share so you can care. See a counselor today. That snow was so insane. Seriously, hello climate change. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Early stuff is the best. Yeah, cool. <laughs> that seems to be a lot of the case with a lot of bands. Like, um, there was another one that I was talking to someone else about recently, uh, Nightwish, which are metal... Uh, what is it? Um, symphonic metal, which is kind of like Celtic music, but metal. Um, and the earlier stuff is a lot, sometimes a lot better. Join us, or die. Into the Vortex Club. Get sucked in. Courtney will do anything for Victoria in the Vortex Club. Hey Courtney. Ciao Max. No photos please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. 
I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Somehow I don't think everyone going to the Vortex Club is going to be wearing a dress. Trevor surveys his domain. Wow, that's a really classy hoodie. I should feel lucky to be here. Our past, your future. Welcome to Blackwell. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Yeah, if you don't want to fight, then how come you keep making it a battle? Editor is working overtime. I commented about the. Oh, what? Oh. She's a jerk. I'm pretty sure that wasn't on the cut. On the, um. Oh, yeah, I can allow, because, um. Yeah, so now it's allowed. Permitted terms. <laughs> so there's this list which is um, allow permitted terms or non-permitted terms, and I've taken something. I've put some things on the not allowed terms. But um, yeah, because I just allowed the, the term jerk. But uh, there seems to be a shitload of. Um, words that I haven't even put on the list that get cut like so yeah disclaimer <laughs> the um the bots on Twitch seem to be very strict I'm in the sci-fi lab now I'm no Schrodinger's kitty see you soon Check your account, don't blow it all at once. Oh, yeah. How many millions did the dad send us? I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Oh, yeah, let's, I saw Victoria let's and her friends that. shopping for the party. That reminds me, I have to score some weed from Nathan. Score some weed. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. Who is that even? I don't even think we met that person. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. 
And yeah, I think there's a little bit of a delay with the chat. Um, not much, but for things like, wow, she's a jerk. Yeah, that was delayed because the auto mod or whatever it was, was actually um, holding it there. And I had to physically alt-tab to go to the chat and actually say, yes, this word is not a swear word. <laughs> it's actually allowed. <laughs> I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Well, don't put embarrassing things in there then. I think this is just the same as before. So you Stop can't help me? So riddle. I'm trying. But you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. No. Nobody does. Nobody. Here we go and talk. What do you want from me? Science. I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exams. Front to the future. Blackwell Cannery believes in the next gen of visionaries. Should know both art and science to advanced to advance their talent and education. Our faculty and curriculum is one of the most diverse in the world. Your future starts here. Science lab. Where people just... Things, big brain. Stuff Think. around and blow things up. Bring me the brain, Igor. Yes, Igor. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. <laughs> Go diem. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Okay, let's rewind that. can't be that hard. Is it too far? Hey Warren, are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer! Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. Maxwell Silver so Hammer, is that a reference? Dr. Max. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Silver Hammer? I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. <laughs> this works? You get a free hug. Weird science. Was that supposed to do that? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Okay. That's a minor fail. Bring me the brain, Igor. It's a Beatles song. Oh, right. Yeah, so half the stuff I should really know, but I just don't, because I guess I don't, haven't listened to mu a lot of music or read a lot of books or um, 
watched a lot of shows or whatever that I sh probably should have. Hey Warren, are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer, perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Lots of potassium. You don't understand mine. Nobody does. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Pop culture reference. She blinded me with science. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the pop culture references I do get, um, but a lot of them I don't, so. I guess there's just so much now, just like trying and keeping up with it, all the stuff, like, um, yeah, there's so many TV shows and things, games that come out. It's impossible. Like my Steam library now has like what? Um, oh right, yeah. Um, 187 or something games in my Steam library I haven't played yet. <laughs> yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. Bring me the brain, Igor. Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. Thomas Dolby. Oh look, it's raining outside, which is actually really appropriate because it's raining in real life right now. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not there. Why? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. GPS. It's just Warren and Alyssa, 2013. So, did anyone do anything for Halloween? How's your Halloween, people? I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Or nothing will happen at all. Nothing happens. Okay. Da Vinci was a boss. 
Science is art, and art is science. Has anyone played? Not eventful, unfortunately. Yeah, we just um watched Conjuring Two. And we played some Phasmophobia. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Just ate some candy. Um, has anyone played science? Science, Bioshock, because there's something very similar to this in the Bioshock game. Can't jump in this game. Walk up onto the end. Oh, the stairs. <laughs> there are stairs. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Check out, see what she's, how many people is she failing? A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. Bioshock is at least first two games. I haven't played the third one. It's a pretty cool game. It's basically like a, well the first one is an underwater city. It's like this guy set out to create an underwater paradise for scientists and artists to basically work uh, without any sort of interruption from the government or anyone. And um, then it all went to hell and yeah, it's a pretty cool story. You get a flaming crossbow which is awesome. I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of troubled students. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? I will. She's mad I missed her call today. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Uh, should I talk about the gun or not now <laughs> so can't remember what I think there was a choice before where to not tell oh that's right there was a choice before to not tell the principal about the gun but um yeah um I'm thinking sharing this information with <laughs> okay well you know I mean the chat is supposed to dictate these sorts of things for this playthrough so I guess I will I will tell him then yeah 
I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Just Abe's drop on me. <laughs> Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Okay, Wouldn't now. she in science class just before? I guess I'm out of time to turn in a photo for the contest. Irony. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. Daniel is always on the outside looking in. <laughs> yep. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. Likes on FB. I wonder what that stands for. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Arcadia Bay looks way more majestic here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Oh, photo opportunity. Person looking out at the rain. Classic. <laughs> Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. <laughs> Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. <sighs> like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Um, like I'm staying right here? <laughs> okay. I like Taylor's artistic side. Not her personality. No time to talk, Max. Art in progress. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Film versus digital. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Uh, 
Um, can you people just get out of the way? Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Quick, take a photo of that creep. I can't get out of the chair now. <laughs> what up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Not out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, what is that? There are a few souls here who have yet to win. Her photo in the contest, like Max Call. Check the messages. Max, wish you had popped a cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. No, Chloe, I do not wish that. Neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? Probably. Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? <coughs> I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my... Yo! Mind. Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. <sighs> Dismissed. Is that what happens in American schools? I'm not sure. See that? Everyone is this just for real? leaving. It flipped out! Oh no. Oh, I think I know what's happening here. Who is that? Kate! No! Oh god. I, I have to do something to help her. If she jumps, she might not die. Yes, she will. She can't die. She can't. <laughs> Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again.
How do I get around these birds? doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Um, I obviously said this one. Don't worry, Kate. Things will get better. I promise. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. Thanks for that. But I needed you more when I called to actually talk. That's when I needed a friend. Um. So who was who was the the person in the chat who uh, recommended that I don't talk to Kate on the phone? <laughs> um. Okay. So I'm waiting for dies, Chloe. Um. She's. This was Chloe, and she was having a serious problem, too. I'm sorry. Apparently her problem is worse than mine. So why even bother with me? I'm done anyway. No, you're not. And I'm here for you. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing! Um. Gathering proof, I guess. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. Yeah, and cheers. you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Mm. Be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? 
No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. So I'm guessing you have to pick the right choice of quest um answers. Um uh, so okay, let's see. Can't remember. I saw that cute photo of you with your sisters in your room this morning. I can see how much your little sister loves you by her smile. That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Yeah. Proverbs 21, 15, Matthew 11, 28. I'm not actually really sure <laughs> of what um, significance those have. Uh, maybe I'll just... I'm thinking I can rewind if I get it wrong. Um, um, yeah. How does that proverb go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. No! Fuck, so that was the wrong answer then. Just when I thought we were making progress. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Um, perhaps if you choose the scene answers. Yeah, so... I think I can rewind all of this, but uh, maybe I'm not going to be able to do it now that it's gone to this... This is an important um, decision, so what should I say? Nathan Doster, Jefferson made her cry, or David bullied her. So one of those three arseholes is responsible. Um, well, they all kind of are. Who do we want to punish the most?
Perhaps if you choose this, yeah, I wonder if I can just reload the game. <laughs> okay, so if I don't get an answer, then I will reckon I will just go with um, Nathan Toaster because he's such a yeah. Although the the roof door should have been locked. I mean, seriously, how can you just leave? the doors to the roof unlocked. If the doors had been locked, she wouldn't have been able to get up there. So Step Douche has got a bit of answering to do about that. Okay. Nathan dosed her. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. playing the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. So how do I rewind? Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? I can't rewind. Please, tell us everything. So, um, oh, that sucks. So I can't rewind it. Um... really sucks. Um, should I make the same choice or a different choice of con conversation? Um, I thought I'd be able to rewind something as big as that. I wonder if there's a delay on the how long the delay is on the chat. I don't think it's that long. I'll just try and skip through this. And me. Garfield, please. No. Oh. Damn it. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Now what I'm going to tell the Cyberwolf. <laughs> Same. Is that, what is that in re reference to? I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. 
I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Oh, right, yep. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. So it looks like I can't rewind. Number plate T P F H. I didn't really can't. Sorry, that clear. Yeah, Victoria, Sapa. And your evil accomplice. Alright, so that's the end of episode 2, Out of Time. So I was thinking what I would do for the chat is next time... Um, 
I just want to see how long the delay is. I don't think it's that long, but... Uh, yeah. But yeah, after I ask something important question, I'll just like give it 10 seconds or something and um, chat shouldn't be that laggy. You told Kate to wait for more proof. 66 people did that. Yes, <laughs> you didn't answer Kate's call. 19%. Most people did. Which I think I did in my previous playthrough a um, long time ago when I first played this. You didn't try to shoot Frank. Most people tried to shoot him. You couldn't save her. Most people... So it's actually getting it quite wrong this time. <laughs> you blame Nathan, which is... Most people did that as well. I was making coffee. Oh, when was that? You erase the link. You accepted Warren's invite. Didn't tamper with the rail tracks. Didn't gain entry to the Vortex Club party. Oh, I'm devastated. Absolutely devastated about that. Not. You didn't help Warren. I thought I did. Um, you told on David to Miss Jefferson. So I just got a when you uh, when you were asking <coughs> for an answer. All right. Well, I assume the chat delay is not very. Um, it's not very big because that <coughs> that message just came up instantly. Next episode three on Life is Strange for Beyond Blue. And in the light of uh, that tragic thing which just happened, if anyone does need help, everyone suffering from depression, uh, if you know anyone who is <coughs> suffering from depression or other anxiety, other mental illnesses, uh, please feel free to contact Beyond Blue. Um, the help there is very invaluable. And um, yeah, they're a great bunch of people. <laughs> In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! We call the film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelm and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. Yeah, just 
rub in the fact that I failed. What the hell is this? <laughs> this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Welcome to episode 3 How are we feeling about the story so far? I'm a bit pissed off. I'm a bit miffed that I couldn't rewind that tragic event. I thought I'd be able to rewind it. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Hey, Bunny, don't be too bummed, but from now on, I'm your new mommy. So important decision time. Do we feed the rabbit? No. I'm gonna feed the rabbit. <laughs> Are you a hungry bunny? Here, not on this. Oh, I was like being a butterfly would come up saying this choice will have caught this action will have consequences see Lisa at least I kept you alive guess I'm better with plants than people there's been so much going on I almost forgot about the eclipse all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence and all roads are leading to my tornado vision let there be light Oh, so is that a pair of old stars there? I think it is. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. I'm so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to... Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. Meet up with Chloe. Alright, oh, oh, that's right, those messages. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of the campus. campus. Get that yes in gear now. All right.
you know, this is why I don't agree with this. Like, why would this person have your number? It just doesn't make any sense. Thirty-eight pages of just stuff that happened. This is disturbing. Yes, I have power, but Nathan is out of control. He's the villain. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Got a flashlight. Oh, it's not even a proper flashlight, it's just the phone. Now, whose room is that? I can't remember. Is that Victoria's room? That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. I hope Kate finally has her wings now. Are we fallen angels who didn't want to believe that nothing is nothing? So much hypocrite. It's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. And somebody... This is my prayer for you, Kate. Light a candle. Bless your gentle soul. What has Miss Henchman, Henchwoman got to say about all this? Hey Max, I, I saw you go up on the roof to try to help Kate. I can't believe she jumped. Alright, important decision time. <laughs> Comfort Taylor or blame Taylor? Hold to another universe. I think I know who's writing that. Okay, we are going to blame Taylor. You should believe it. She jumped because you and everybody here bullied her. What? You're like blaming me? As a matter of fact, yes. Then just get out of here. Like, stop fucking with me. I already told you that my mom is in the hospital. I'm done for the day. Yeah, but it's no excuse to act the way that you did. Not safe for work. Nobody can blame this poster for Kate's death.
I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Where's my AMF reader? Torch, I need an AMF reader and a motion sensor. Hey, can you come in here for a minute? Dana's really hurting over this. Ow. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Dana looks so sad, even though she's trying not to show it. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate, and if this is my fault, too. Um, don't think it was your fault. Blame Victoria. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Rewind? Why well, would I have to rewind? Hey Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault too. I think it was maybe it was another thing. Come on, don't said. blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. She definitely deserves a face punch for pimping that video. I didn't do enough to step up. She deserves more than a face punch. <laughs> because Victoria was still going to torture Kate with that video. I know. Kate could have blown it off, but she was too damn nice and innocent. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yeah. yet, but I'm on it. <clears throat> Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. <laughs> just realized Max is wearing a bag? Like, I know it's probably just the, um, the character model. They've got this, so she's always wearing the bag, but, um, yeah, kind of weird that you just carry your bag everywhere. Maybe they should have had two different character models, one without the bag, so like right now she'd be walking around without the bag. Tina clearly doesn't mind if I peruse her laptop. Aww, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Tina. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how shitty it was to see Kate jump from the roof today. 
I don't have anything deep or smart to say, just want you to know that you're a good friend to her and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good to me, good for me when everything else is so fucked up and I, he, and I am here for you always. I miss you Trev. I don't think he talks like that but anyway. I can't remember what his voice is like. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Dan, I hope you're doing okay after today. Don't want you to bother you. I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper. I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. Seemed like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you. Kay, hope you're well. Webmail. Heart beats in eight counts. Is that a song or something? Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. This is both sad and pathetic. Logan read that before. It's just... Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Fireflies. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I wish we had fireflies here. It'd be awesome. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. What, what sort of weird, creepy stuff is in here this time? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Why is that there? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Hollywood girls. <laughs> Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools. Yeah, yeah, Chloe, I'm on my way. You just gotta go through this stuff just to see if there's any creepy evidence. Nothing here. Take a photo of that or what? <laughs> Damn it. There must be a reason why that squirrel was there.
east side. Ugh, I don't know. The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. What? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. There's a lot of people around this school who don't do their jobs. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Rewind, I guess. Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Yes, that's what I was thinking. Max the Ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players and find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. And notice that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. 
Do you think she's... Hmm. Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. Oh, I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Mm. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm or going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? Well... She just tried to blackmail the teacher. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. The key master. Dude, I don't know about this. What about the gatekeeper? We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Dear Miss Michelle Grant, as head of security at Blackwell Academy, it's my job and duty to make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to protecting the student body. I know, I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is my prime directive. Since taking over head of security, my statistics speak for themselves as to 
the 15.4% driving campus crime. I respect your position as a science teacher, but you have unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact this petition and consider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. Sincerely, David Madsen. Quarter past one at in the morning. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. How to feed your inner spirit animal. Only a, a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Oh, I know someone who wears a hat like that in Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. She should just play Skyrim. Lock picking one hundred. Nothing here. Dead end. Boring. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. This is so fast, I can't read it all. Now pay attention 007, you have to find four objects. Sugar, a soda can, duct tape and sodium chloride. So you get the sugar, duct, yeah. Then you do that 
and yeah, it exploded. Does that actually work? Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Science lab. I hate that formal and smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. You deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. Yes, I like this plus better than that minus. B plus. Thanks for being there for me, Warren. Should have given him an A plus. Sugar. Ooh, sugar. Only three more items to go. Ass biology. Ugh, gross. <laughs> I never said they were great, troll. Ugh. She wonder if that does anything now. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Photo. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Oh, that's why she carries the bag everywhere, so she can put photos. Was about to turn off again. Please resume your slumber. Albert Einstein. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. <laughs> now the photo op. Smoking kills. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. <laughs> Any thoughts about that? Anyone smoke? E cigs. <laughs> so sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Factoid. No, this mixture doth not. Soda can duct tape and 
What am I implying? Where would I find some duct tape and sodium chlorate? This is like a scene in a horror film. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Oh, is that a photo? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Can't we get Victoria's photo and rip it up? Victoria's cigarettes? I'm sure, Mr. Jefferson. I probably should find those items. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, give it up. Yeah, I have to have a look to see if there's a... Oh, duct tape. The tape is mine. Oh, there's some halfway home, Max. Tripods. We've got some ghost hunting equipment here. You're still there. Did you blow it up? Need to concentrate now. I don't need a, an old can, a soft drink can. And Still need the sodium chlorate. Which you think should have been. Oh. In the okay, I have the can. So Only one more ingredient left. So it's lab. Oh, is that it up there? Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. <laughs> okay. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. <laughs> that was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Yeah. 
grab the evidence and run? Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Basically, blow the door, go inside, and then rewind, so you're actually inside now. <laughs> Sweet. This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. So did you blow the lock, Unabomber? Oh please, I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. Looks like an oil painting's bill. Awful. Yeah, that's one of those paintings that goes for millions. You know, you just like... <laughs> oh, people are saying, oh my god, what a gorgeous... Masterpiece, it's worth billions, even though it's just literally someone's just poured some paint on a piece of crap. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. <laughs> Only two more files to go. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. Yeah, whatever. He stands as a proud representation. No, he doesn't. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, att attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, so some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. 
Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than specific recommendation. Update. Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof to her death today. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's bravery is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Marabeth. <laughs> Victoria Marabeth Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy. More like the rotten standard. A student with a consistently high GPA and extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Marabeth also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex, the Vortex Club, among other organisations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. All fake completely, of course. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift of c or curse of gab, depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Ms. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month and she's left no contact with students or faculty for the past month. Her parents are at the present unaware of her whereabouts and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of leadership and scholarship that is a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modelling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with blackmail as the fulcrum. Just want to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for one magic clue, but once again Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do from now. Thanks for all your help. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Oh, you Bad, Chloe. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions and inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspensions, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, the situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conductive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. 
I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, idiot Prescott. You're not so tacky up close. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. I can't even read this. As principal of Black Oak Academy, as principal of Black Oak Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in the school's operation. However, I did recognise the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition. Press Principal Wells. Oh, Chloe. Photo time. Say hello to my little friend. Say good night <coughs> to the bad guy. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? <sighs> or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. <laughs> Alright, um... It's just going after 10, so I would like to finish up pretty soon. But of course we have to finish this mission, not cutting it right in the middle of the... I wasn't going to cut it right in the middle of the mission. But of course it's quite appropriate to finish with this uh, important decision. Steal the money or leave the money? I'm actually thinking, may as well steal it. But, um, yeah, the choice is yours. All right, we'll steal it. This action will have consequences. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. 
We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Just kidding. But you never know. Oh, no. Oh. I feel like shit for <laughs> taking that money. Too late. Where'd Chloe go, right? That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. <laughs> We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Yes, um... He'll know someone was there. But it's too late anyway because the um... The files have gone. So... Yeah. He's gonna know someone was there anyway. I think. Unless he doesn't really keep track of his own files. But We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. All oh, right, um... This has been cool. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Thanks for joining the stream. Uh, this has been Life is Strange for Beyond Blue. I have been Afian. Uh, thanks to Beyond Blue. And see you all again soon. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> now I've got to get used to this.